Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring and diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I have my January coloring haul for you guys. I did not expect to have a haul go up this month, but I have accumulated a few coloring books and um, a coloring supply, as well as something else that I'm excited to show you guys. I don't know, I did this because it's over here. Um, but I'm very excited to show you guys these items I have acquired this month and I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right on into it. Okay, so the first coloring book I have to show you guys is 50 Dessert Themed Miniatures by Kabila Angelkova. I did an entire flip through video on my channel if you guys want to check that out, but here is just a quick look at the coloring book. Look how adorable these images are. I think I'm gonna leave this book out after I film this haul to color the nameplate page I think um, we'll see but I do definitely want to do a page in this book I haven't done a minis page yet this year which is kind of a crime to be honest I definitely need to get my butt into gear and do a page but yeah I'm hoping to do a page before the end of the month out of this book these next two coloring books were actually gifts from one of my dear friends Amanda Amanda Downey um, on Instagram and Amanda thank you so so much again for the wonderful gift it really made my day um, and I ugh, haven't colored in either yet but you guys this book in particular is so stinking cute so is the other one but this one's really really cute this is Kawaii Town by Jade Summer I thought that, I kind of thought Jade Summer would be written down here so I'm like inching the book up like by Jade Summer no not even not here but this is Kawaii Town by Jade Summer and I like am a sucker for like these kind of images were like um it's just like cute little town scenes and I don't know I just I really really like this book um it's very detailed but I think with one of my new supplies I just got um I think I might do a page in this soon if I can oh this is so cute you guys I haven't really um looked through this book as closely as I've wanted to but these images oh my goodness <gasps> I love yeah they're pretty detailed though for sure but the nice thing about this is that they're single-sided pages so you could use alcohol markers um you could use any medium in this book to be honest because it's um single-sided okay not as detailed but yeah thank you so much again Amanda and this is Kawaii Town and then the other coloring book that Amanda so kindly got me is Tropicoth by Carla Magana I am slowly building up a Carla Magana collection I think I have three of her books I'm just looking at the back I have three or four but I'm pretty sure it's three um but this one is no exception it is just so fun and like kind of summery um which is always fun because if you guys don't know I live in Wisconsin and we are currently in the dead of winter however it actually is like 40 degrees today which is basically shorts weather considering last week it was like basically like with wind chill negative 30 40 so this is like a big change but yeah this is super duper cute oh my goodness I love Carla Magana's work I just think it's so like I don't know I think her people are very unique and I love the kind of style she draws them in and it lends itself very well to like putting just like random color on the page and it will look good um that's kind of how I feel about Carla's artwork at least but yeah that is Tropicoth and again thank you so much Amanda for the lovely lovely gifts you definitely did not have to do that and I appreciate you so so much so about once a year I treat myself and buy things on Amazon Japan. That is because one of my favorite coloring book artists, Ari, which I will show you her new book here in a few minutes, always comes out with a new coloring book once a year. And I'm like, okay, perfect, because she does not sell her books on Amazon. Well, that's not true. She sells very few of her coloring books on Amazon US. Otherwise, you have to buy them from Amazon Japan. Um, so once a year I say treat yourself and I pick up coloring books that I don't know much about. Um, I look at some of the images, you know, as much as I can on the Amazon website, Amazon Japan website. Um, but this is the little lot of books I ended up getting this go around. So first off we have this Disney coloring book and you guys, you guys, I extremely recommend this coloring book. Look, just, okay, these images are something else. They are so adorable. Oh my god, this book is like really long so it's kind of hard to show you guys but look at this. This. and then so it's kind of like a storybook it's all in Japanese but then let me show you guys um, let's see you also get the images colored um, kind of like showing you kind of the colored images 
and oh you guys i just think this book is adorable and i have not colored in it yet but i am just really excited okay at the beginning i guess there's like a coloring lesson too um but again it's all in japanese so it doesn't doesn't really affect me i'm just gonna do what i want anyways but you guys highly 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 recommend this book i genuinely couldn't even tell you like how i found it but if you guys want a link let me know but yeah that is this disney coloring book next up we have this like cute squirrel coloring book I, I don't know the names of like any of these coloring books but this is by Mona um but I again it's just one of those books that I picked up on a whim because whenever I shop on Amazon Japan I just pick things up that look good which isn't always the best choice but it has not really failed me up until this point and honestly I'm kind of just obsessed with the artwork that I wouldn't even be upset if I didn't color in this at all because I really really love the artwork um, but I really hope to color one of these pages, um, gotta work myself up to it, encourage myself, but I just really love, love these books a ton and definitely just worth the price, to be honest, just because they're so, such adorable images. So, this is the, um, squirrel, squirrel version of the book, um, but there are other animals in here besides the squirrels. So yeah, that is the squirrel, I think, version of the book. And then we have the cat version of the book. Again, I could have done more research leading up to this and I didn't, but this is by the artist Moko. That one was Mona. I'm not, I'm not too sure, honestly, what, what it's about, but um, it's very similar images. I wouldn't be surprised if they were the same artist, but if you guys know, let me know in the comments because I have no idea. I have no clue but love these images so much these are all kind of storybook-esque I don't know they all give storybook vibes and whenever I get coloring books that are like storybooks I'm like I really want to finish it one day obviously unrealistic for sure but <laughs> a girl can dream a girl can dream it would probably help if I did some coloring yeah yeah that'd probably help for sure <laughs> but let me know in the comments if you guys have any of these books from Amazon Japan and like what your thoughts are on them but I think they are really cute okay the last one I got in this little like series is this bunny this bunny one um again I don't know I no no artist name that I can read I'm sure this is the artist but I obviously I don't read Japanese so <laughs> unfortunately I don't know who actually illustrated this book but again just incredible imagery I, I I don't know I just I find this stuff really gorgeous and I highly recommend if you're browsing thinking about getting stuff from Amazon Japan I recommend in general if you're ordering off of any Amazon that isn't US Amazon that you make it worth your while because paying for shipping is kind of annoying so when you have to do it I feel like you might as well get more for your buck which is why whenever I place an order from Amazon J Amazon Japan I go for this route and just get a few because the shipping ends up being pretty similar and I'm getting more stuff for it you know what I mean that's just my take on it but um yeah that is the last book in like that little collection okay so the last coloring book I have is the airy book I was talking about this is her new release it is I believe translated to something along the lines of world literature so a lot of these images have to do with um books and different stories so Oh my gosh it is so adorable i love it i really wanted to do a flip through of it but i never got around to it last month um i don't know if that's something you guys still want to see but um i know my friend megan disney meg's coloring did a flip through of this when she got her copy so i definitely would recommend checking out her video if you want to see a flip through let me know if you guys want to see one on my channel but i think she did a good job of explaining um like where things came from Oh, see, stop, I love this. I really do love this, and I love her artwork in general. And fun fact is that Aerie uses toothpicks <laughs> to draw everything. Um, I don't think that's changed since the Romantic Country series, and I think her artwork is just simply incredible. So yeah that is the world literature coloring book. Okay, so I have a couple more things to show you guys. Uh, first of all, I bought this like ginormous like stack of Disney stickers and I'll just kind of show you guys the bag here because I don't want to take any out but I have been toying around with the idea of using my old bullet journal as a Disney coloring book tracker I don't know if that'll stick I you know it takes a lot of time and effort to draw out like tracking um 
graphs and things like that and I have like a bunch of the Disney coloring books and there's also an app that I maybe am toying with using instead um, but I bought these stickers for that but even if I don't use these stickers for that tracker I have like my normal bullet journal I could just put Disney stickers in as well so these won't like not go to use I just don't know if I'm gonna actually go through with the Disney tracker idea it was a really good idea in theory but execution wise I realized it might be a little bit more work that I want to put into it um, but I did purchase these uh, stickers and they're really, really cute. Last but not least, you guys, this is a terrible angle and, and I'm gonna go ahead and open them. These are the 320 set of Ohuhu alcohol markers. You guys, just look at these swatch cards. Oh my God. I love this color scheme so much. Um, I have been eyeing this set of markers for ages and this is the set that has the fine tip on one side and the brush tip on the other here's the deal you guys after coloring for three plus years i have come to the conclusion that I don't like the chisel nib on most markers. I think the only exception to that rule really is the tau tree markers because the fine tip is just a little too thin. And so the chisel's perfect on those markers because they're skinny markers. However, on my Ohuhus, I have had a set of the brush and chisel. I've had a set of the fine and chisel. And every time I use the chisel, I really, I hate working with the chisel. I, I don't like it. Um, I don't mind working with the fine tip, but for big spaces, that's not ideal. The brush tip, however, can work in big spaces. It's a little more challenging, but it can work. The only time I really like chisel tip is when you're working in a huge, huge space. Um, so that might be a little bit of a challenge for that, but I think the pros outweighed the cons. And I decided to pick up this set of markers because I had some Amazon money, and so I got a lot of money off of this. Um, I don't think I'd ever pay full price for this. I think it's very expensive. But I am very, very happy, happy to have it in my hands. Um, I finished swatching out these markers this morning. And the goal after this video is to color a page. I don't even think I'm going to edit this video right away, which I normally do. But I'm in the mood to color because I'm leaving the house soon. And I won't have time to color later. So anyways, you guys, all that to say, I'm very excited about this set of markers. And um, it comes with this like fluorescent purple, if you guys can see right here, that I've never had in a set before. But anyways, you guys, that is it for this massive, it feels like a massive haul, but like maybe it's just because I haven't purchased this much for coloring in a while. Um, but I'm hoping getting this new set of markers will inspire me to color a little bit more. I'm very, very, very much hoping that'll be the case, um, but I guess time will tell. But thank you guys so much for watching this haul video today. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!